Hello, hello, hello. Ugh. Good morning, afternoon, and possibly evening, everyone. Um, doubt you're in the evening, of course, but you know, eh, you never know. So, um, a couple things before I actually get started today. Uh, first off, just want to go over recent events. Uh, Polynesian power has followed. Let's see that again. Hey, thank you. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> uh, oh, what a what a time to be in the days of a single viewer. Uh, well, uh, whoever you are, it's nice to have you here. Um, going to be working in Blender for a while. Uh, been going through this kind of this online course kind of thing, um, and. Uh, Today we're kind of setting up the scene and so we can actually animate stuff. Uh, my goal is to uh, use this to eventually create my own custom animations and such um, for games that I make uh, in Unity and all that. So and once, uh, once I get through this course, I'll start working on my game and such. Uh, one thing of note, uh, I have been, so, so as you can see, I am a virtual avatar, um, and uh, I will be getting a different avatar sometime soon, hopefully, but for now I'm using this one. Uh, I made this one myself, it is, uh, it's okay. <laughs> uh, the hair it can be flippy floppy, and the beard can also be a little flippy floppy, but uh, overall it's pretty good. Um, little, little jank, but it works. Uh, hopefully the one I commissioned is better. Uh, but before, I was using this program called 3Teen, or 310A, depending on how you want to call it. Um, and it was working alright, uh, but then I started looking around for what I could use to be better, and uh, I landed on two options, being VC Face and Luppet. Uh, now Luppet is a paid program that you have to use, and VC Face is free, so obviously I chose the free version. And that's what I'm using currently, and I love it. Uh, the face tracking and the head tracking is so much better. Um, I also figured out how to get my mouth to actually move properly. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, the camera tracking my mouth as well as um, the, uh, the audio that you hear uh, being put into like making the mouth so if I go like ah or ooh, ooh, then it'll do that depending on uh, different things um, so yeah that's also nice and also you may have noticed uh, I have eye tracking stuff so like I'm looking off to the side now I'm looking straight off to the side straight and you'll see that a lot and I really like that that was the thing that I didn't know that it could do and it does and it does it wonderfully uh, and I just love it I thought I had to get a new camera in order to do that but I didn't so this is working great um, so yeah anyway uh, with that being said ugh, let's go ahead and uh, get back into this um, Oh, uh, one last thing before I get started, actually. So, uh, the music that you're hearing now, hopefully, is copyright-free. Um, the music that I used in yesterday's stream apparently was not, even though it's from, like, the Twitch soundtrack or whatever, which I guess I didn't use correctly, but whatever. Um, so, uh, yeah, the stuff that you're hearing now should be copyright-free, and I should be able to put onto YouTube with, for, with uh, no problem. Um, I am also able to listen to it, but I will be listening to other things as well, including the online course. Uh, you guys will not be able to hear that for similar copyright reasons. Uh, but overall, uh, it's going to be a fun, chill time. So, with that being said, let's get into it, shall we? So, uh, currently, I am working in this scene. Uh, I... Uh, have my run cycle for oh dear uh, what did I do um, <laughs> okay uh, I can fix this okay there we go <laughs> off to a great start <laughs> um, so I currently do have my run cycle oh gosh uh, I guess I guess you guys can't hear that can you um, <laughs> I have music playing in the in the background of the scene but uh, I do have her run cycle. Uh, and it is fully imported and such. 
uh, I've been able to loop it in such a way uh, by using actions. Uh, what you can do is that you can make it and make it cyclic is what it's called so that it just repeats forever and ever no matter which way you go. Uh, and then you can name that whole thing as a single action and it will save to the character. And then you can bring that in to a different character and have them use it as well. Um, and so I've used, named this Abby Run Cycle just because that's what the tutorial guy did. Uh, and yeah. And now we also have this background, which if I zoom out almost all the way. Oh, geez. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's like an outside thing. So yeah, it's just this little city block here. Um, and if I move around it and whatnot, uh, that is caps lock that I'm hitting. Yeah, so there's like a, a few things here. Um, oh, one thing I need to do before I forget. Uh, I need to... Where is it? Oh. Backface culling. Okay, there we go. So now I can actually see through stuff when I look around. That way I can animate things um, and not have it be too bad. Okay, let's go back to my character. Zoop! L. Okay. <sighs> Okay, uh, so I believe uh, what the guy was telling me to do uh, was to start using something called a grease pencil. So I'm going to take a look at that and get right back to you. All right, okay, so I need to, let's see, there's a different mode or something. Go back. Okay, back a little more. Okay, back a little more. Back a little more. Ah, I have to add it. Okay, let's go back to objects. Add grease pencil blank. All right. Uh, and then then I can go into draw mode. Okay, and here we are with that. So I'm gonna set it to surface, uh, view is fine, and now I can draw on things and have it draw on the surfaces. Okay, cool. So a lot of this is like planning out the animation and whatnot. So, right, okay. Um, <clears throat> hey, so what he wants me to do is to kind of use the grease pencil to kind of draw out where I'm wanting to go. So uh, I believe what he took was and you start on here, the garbage thing, kind of run off, and uh, then you're going to run up to this garbage thing. I know it's like a garbage can or whatever, but... Ugh.
I'm really having some trouble here. Okay. Um, <laughs> so as he described, uh, they're going to hop on up here and then do a front flip off of this or something around here and land over here. And uh, just thinking about trying to animate that or whatever is like, ah! but yeah. Um, then, uh, so there are two characters in this actually. So they're going to go over here and then have a little fight over here. And that's about as far as he went. So let's see what he does next. Going into the video editor. Okay. Ah, so he's wanting to use some text in order to time out certain actions. I guess that makes sense. It's just a, an interesting technique, so to speak. Then again, I don't know what I would use instead, so. He's wanting me to put text like over the screen or whatever, and that seems just so cheesy for me. <laughs> but I mean, it would it, it would work. Hmm. Interesting. So it makes sense what he's doing. It's just. to make it like a black background. Okay, he's wanting me to animate the camera as well um, to kind of bring it through and give some rough information and whatnot. cuts. Okay. Oh, okay. This is interesting. He's, one, uh, he's teaching me how to uh, set my view to be um, the camera angle itself. <laughs> Actually, now that makes sense. <laughs> he, he, uh, he was saying, like, to do this, all I gotta do for hotkey users is hit Control Alt Zero. And I'm like, that's a lot of keys. But then I remembered it's not actually a lot of keys, it's just three. And one of them is, it kind of makes sense because it's zero. That's the one that you use to focus on things. So. What does he want me to do? Okay, he's kind of just going over tips and stuff right now. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, and uh, yeah, let's, so uh, what, what should we do? What should we do? Um, let's see. So I've got my little grease pencil animation thing going on. Honestly, not sure exactly what to do. Yeah, I'm kind of honestly, I'm kind of at this point where like I don't know exactly how much I want to do. <laughs> like, I I do need to stick with it. Like, especially if I want to animate cutscenes and whatnot. 
but at the same time I can also kind of figure that out. But also I did pay for this course and I kind of want to get my money's worth, but I can also put it off to the side and whatnot. So like, I don't know. Um, Yeah, and it seems like a lot of this lesson is going to be going over, like, the entire animation process, so, I don't know. Um, um, thing is, I don't know what else to do right now. <laughs> kind of at this uh, weird point. Um, I mean, I can make the camera go through, but that's kind of boring. So, um, uh, give, give me a sec. I'm, I'm going to figure something out here in a, in a, in a bit. Just, uh, just, just give me a minute.
Okay, so um, I I think what I'm I, I figured out what I uh, what I might be doing today, um, at least at least for a little while. <laughs> um, so uh, I decided to kind of jump forward a bit um, in the sense that instead of going through this course and learning a few things, uh, I'm going to go straight into trying to uh, animate some of my own stuff. Um, maybe. So this is going to be a bit of a train wreck, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, so uh, I brought in the Ybot character that I'm using uh, using for my current project, and uh, well, this doesn't look too pretty. Um, oh dear, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Hmm. So, as you can see, there's a lot of these bones that are kind of sticking out, or at least I think they're bones. Um, oh, cancel. Uh, almost accidentally uh, quit out. Let's see. Oh! Okay, but it, it still it still works. Apparently. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, we can do this, we can do this. Um, it's not like a high quality rig, um, like, you know, I'd have to individually maneuver the different, uh, thumb, individual finger joints and whatnot. What's, what's this one? I don't know what that one does. <laughs> finger, fingertip motions? I have no clue. <laughs> okay, uh, so... Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's get a run cycle. Let's 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 do let's do a bit of a run cycle, you know. Um, okay, and uh, I'm gonna follow kind of a similar process to what I did in the tutorial, in the sense that um, I'm not gonna be following much of a reference, which could be for my downfall. Uh, but I am going to do it kind of in a 20 frame window, uh, kind of animate the first uh, motion of front to back on the right leg or left leg to the 10th frame and then mirror that to 10 through 20. Um, that way that can all work out good. And uh, yeah, so for now at least, now see, here's going to be a bit of a problem, because if I'm not mistaken... <laughs> oh, yep, that's... Oh boy, okay. We need to figure out how to set up something called Rigify, or to have these bones be connected to each other. Um, this will be an interesting process. Trying to figure out how to even go about this. Um, well, when in doubt, Google it out, you know? Okay. Uh, sorry, Bloop, I'm gonna have to close you for now. Uh, let's bring you over here for now. Okay, so, uh, what are we looking up? We need to find out, um, how to get animations for Ybot, um, which is the name of the model. Uh, Mixamo Ybot animation. Sure. Um, here we go. Mixamo to Blender. Interested in getting the Dobby Mixamo characters and into Babylon? G what? Mixamo. Oh, I don't. I don't even know what Babylon JS is. Is kind of telling me stuff. Hold on, hold on. This this could actually be useful still. Let's go back up. Um, because this is where I got it from. And by the way, if you ever need any kind of um, uh, my eyebrows, yeah, my eyebrows are working. If you need any kind of uh, models or animations for stuff, uh, you want to make kind of just to test things out and whatnot. Mixamo is a very good website for that. Um, 
they have like default animations for things and originally that is what I used um, actually here let me let me show that off real quick because that that could be interesting because um, I've already did, done like a little bit not not much but a little bit um, a puzzle project uh, unity asset 3d test maybe eh, I don't know this this could be wrong um, we're about to find out. <laughs> File, import, FBX. Okay, did that. Import that same way you did Ybot. Oh, okay, here we are. Ah, yes, this this is what I was working with. Um, okay. And I think if I just play it, I think it'll work fine. Um, maybe. So, yeah, yeah, there we go. So, I had some good old camera movements going, and then I had uh, this this run, and I was able to kind of move around and such. And I was also able to jump. Kind of a Spider-Man-y jump, so to speak. Um, and, uh, yeah, not much. Um, but it's kind of neat. Woo! Okay. Um, so what I'm wanting to do then is kind of, I guess I could keep that run cycle in there if I wanted to, but I'm wanting to kind of change it up a bit, make it a little faster. Um, is what I'm wanting, what I'm wanting this to be is kind of this high action game. So like, the, who this guy, whoever he is, and this guy actually kind of looks a little bit fat. Um... Uh, he's not going to be running as if he's like, you know, oh, I'm going to run down the street real quick. It's going to be like, do -do 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 -do. like, it's going to, it's going to be intense. Um, so it's not just going to be a casual jog at 50 miles an hour. It is going to be an anime sprint, not Naruto, but like an anime sprint at friggin' high speeds. So that's what I'm wanting at least. Uh, so I kind of need to either take that animation and edit it to some degree, um, or just create a new one from scratch, uh, whichever would work. So, let's see. Download that. Um, rename armature to character and rename all animations as shown in the image below. Okay, uh, as shown in the image below, select here. Am I able to... Wait, what does this all say? Uh... Open the transform chat tab. No, the rotation is not all that. Uh, shown. Press Control A to open the apply menu. Click all transforms. Location should all be set to zero. Rotation all to zero. Scale all to one. Um, change the materials. Babylon? Weird. Okay. So that's that's not what I need. Um, how to animate a character with Mixamo for Unity. I just realized that you guys can't listen to this. Um, I'll pull it off to the side for now. Okay, so he brought in a model, it's getting an animation. Hmm. Oh yeah, auto rigging, right. Yeah, he's got that going. Um, come on. Hmm. OK. 
curious as to what he's trying to do. Mm. <sighs> oh boy. Mixamo Blender. Sure, let's try that. Um, using Mixamo with Blender. That is a long video. Whoa, wait. Oh, okay. Okay, so he enabled something. See, because he's kind of got pointy stuff at the top, too. And that's kind of all that we have on our character is pointy stuff. Um, hmm, what did he do? This is a different version of Blender, isn't it? Oh boy. in Blender, sure. Hey, easily rig your model. <laughs> okay, nobody really cares. So, like, I already have a rig, it's just that it, it, like, none of it is connected, you know? You know what? I'm wondering if, um, you know, there's this thing called Rigify. Uh, maybe how to enable Rigify? I don't know. I don't even know if it is a default thing. Um... How to use Rigify. All right, that's what we want. And that guy is really creepy. That guy is super buff, what the heck? I was gonna say, I wish I was that buff, but uh, no. <laughs> Please, no. I don't need that much muscle. If I do that, and then can I rotate? Oh. So I can. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, oh, what can I do with that? Um, it's got to be something I can do. Maybe. 
See, he's already, like, this guy's putting a rig into this guy, it looks like. I just don't know how to, like, turn on Rigify or whatever. Rigify, blender manual, blah, 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 blah. Rigify helps you animate the creation of character rigs that is based around the building block approach where you build a complete rigs out of small rig parts. The rig parts are currently few in number, but more parts of rig should be... Okay. Um, open Blender and go to Preferences, then the Add-ons tab. Uh, that'd be an edit. Add-ons. Search up Rigify. Boom. Oh, there we go. Boom. Okay. Um, Rigify. I don't know what this is. Um, convert only selected. I don't know. Can I now move? No. How do I get it so I can stretch and then not stretch? Like... Hmm. Also, I want to be able to see the different things that I can do. Um, collections? No. Auto IK, I wish. Um, do, do, do. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Every now and again, I hear my roommate, and I'm like, wait, can you guys hear that? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this might be something. Um, left arm, let's see. I'm currently selecting that one. That is Lem's arm. What I'm curious about is how do I get them to connect? Hmm. Add bone constraint. This might be interesting. Uh, inverse kinematics? Oh! 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 Hey now, we're getting somewhere. Hello. Ah! Look at it! It's moving! It's moving! <laughs> okay, uh, well, it's, it's, hmm. Okay, but the, the target is not correct. Um, we need, so for this guy, we need the thing it's connected to to be this bone. So like, ah, <laughs> I don't know what that did. Uh, armature, oh, okay, that's the right arm. Why, why you gotta be like this? 
Why you gotta be like this? Um, maybe the influence should go down. It's the wait. That's the left arm. <laughs> That's the left arm. Hello. I wait. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. We're getting we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. This is just not exactly what. Okay, let's back up. Uh, okay, so let's let's start from uh, we need some kind of no. Well, okay, what I need is to not see this. So wireframe maybe. Yeah, that kind of works. Um, I can at least I can at least see all of them, so that's good. Um, Okay, which one of these is the root? The hips. That bone. Okay, so that's that's the bone that we need to connect everything to. Um, okay, and that's like the thigh. That's the other thigh. These are the knees. And that's the ankle. Okay, so first off, we need to take this guy give him, let's see, oh, what, else, what else do we have here? Um, Clown 2, damn track, inverse kinematics, log track, explain, IK, add a constraint to the active button, oh, change to the stretch 2 track, maybe stretch 2? Stretch 2, the 2. Okay, nothing off the bat. Target, armature, bone, hips. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's what stretch two does. Okay. What does spline IK do? Doesn't show anything yet. Um, oh, okay. Well, there's nothing there to do that with, so I'm not gonna use that. Uh, let's just go back to inverse kinematics. Uh, target, armature, pull target? What does pull target do? Okay, let's just do hips. that I press to move it, it's like, no, I don't want to move, and then it glitches out like that. So that's interesting. Hmm. Target, armature, then I think. What's this one called? Left up leg? Left up leg. Now, if I rotate this. Well, that's not exactly what I was thinking, but that's something. Hmm. 
That's something. That's something at least. <sighs> Chain link. I don't know what that does. Um, so that's influencing that. Uh, there's got to be something better to do with this. Um, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I might be doing this the wrong way. Because there's two different ones, IK versus FK. Uh, Traditional rig uses forward kinematics and then that forward K rig. Each bone follows its parent bone's behavior and IK setup is the easiest way to make sure feet remain planted on the ground. Wait, so then, hold on. Back up, back up, keep going, keep going, a little more. Okay, apparently that's all I can go. Okay, close that up. Okay, uh, so apparently I was doing this the wrong way, where what I should be doing is going to the hips, inverse kinematics, target, armature, bone, and then let's start with uh, left up leg. So yeah, apparently I was going the wrong way with this, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, uh, uh, uh. This is a bit troubling. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's try it from here. Inverse kinematics, armature, let's go uh, whatever this bone is, um, which would be left, uh, left leg. Oh. Oh, what? Hmm. I have a theory. It's a working theory. Ah, uh, no. What if I changed that? Which I didn't even realize I could do. Um, until I tried it. Attach that to the hips. Okay. Um, it's not exactly what I wanted. Maybe if we put a bone constraint on this, um, it's got to be clamped to. The, uh, but so the idea is then that I can use inverse kinematics on this armature and then do left up leg. Then, then well, that 
that's not what I needed. <sighs> uh, I'm going tired of this. Um, you know what? I'm going to try to cheat a little bit. Uh, high quality blender model. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Um, here we go. All right, we need to find... Yeah. Uh. Well, what we need... Let's go back to Mixamo. Or go to it, rather, I should say. Um, where did I keep it? Oh, whatever, I'll just look it up. How do I use Mixamo and Blender? This guy has a great microphone. it up he's got it where does this guy live he's got a rooster in the background what in the world what you're just gonna export it you're just gonna what curious about is if, um, okay, yeah, I'm a thing. Uh, I'm gonna take this off screen. Okay, so this is, so th this was the character that I had in there, right? And I can download it. There is no thing for Blender. Great. Okay. Um, good Blender rigs. Best free animation rigs. to this website, please. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Categories. Characters. Ooh. Minecraft. Full body practice rig for Blender? Eh, not a bad idea. Anybody want us and uh, Among Us rig? Uh, that'll be good. I need is a good model to work with. At least a good rig. Might be able to figure out how to get a get other stuff otherwise. That's the well, okay, it was the Joker. L base match. Oh, he got a <laughs> I guess I should be a little careful on this. <laughs> Um, there was one on the first page that I liked, actually. I think it was this guy. Hmm. 
Uh, rate made to practice body mechanics. My first time doing reggae, so I hope you like it. Download and comment, comment to help me improve it. Um, cool. I had an idea. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if this works first. Um, delete the default cube. So I'm going to bring in that high quality rig from that tutorial that I had. Uh, being this Abby girl here. Um, hmm. So we got the mesh. Uh, I'm wondering if I'm wondering if I could just bring in like the rest of the stuff, you know? Okay, so we have her here. Um. that work do 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 do, do. That's the mesh. I don't need the mesh. Okay, so all the mesh is down there. What if I get rid of all the mesh? Do like this kind of thing. Well, that didn't work at all. That doesn't work either. I have to like, oh, I have to manually do it. Okay. It's in, it, it's interesting how Blender does that. Like, it doesn't let me just, interesting. Objects. So is this the rig? It's kind of crazy if that's the rig, but it might be. I'm like taking this girl apart. Goodness, what in the world? How low does this go? Oh my gosh! I can't. Ah! Okay, um. Yeah, okay, so that scrap that idea. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Okay, back to this guy. Um uh, where's you must be logged in to download. Okay. Uh I need to register actually. Okay, username. Email, password, Kai, register, do that whole thing. Uh, oh, lost it. Okay, there it is. Login. If you could tell what my password was from that sound of me typing on the keyboard, I commend you. <laughs> you can have that password. <laughs> um, oh, come on. I just... Characters. There he is. And download. Okay, here we are. It's a Blender file. Let's just open it up in Blender. And here we are. Nice little 
blender boy. Now. Okay, okay. So, and then can I, what can I do? Ooh. Whoa, okay, interesting. Hmm. Okay, what can his feet do? Can his feet, yes, they can. That's good, and they stretch, that's fine. Wish there was a way that I could change that. Oh, there is! Hello. Hel hello, beautiful thing that I'm very much more used to. Okay, now. Um, okay, I don't know what this thing in the back is, but I do not need it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't need the lights and stuff. I don't need that. Okay, there we go. Got it. Don't need any lights. I'll keep the, the, oh, sorry. I'll keep the camera because it can always be fun to just do that. Okay, now, the big question is, what does this do? I don't know. Got little, uh... yep, roads ate those hips, boy. Okay, uh, so what we need now is... Uh, a way to switch out the meshes. How to change mesh. How to replace an object with another mesh. Select the object you'd like to replace. Head over to Object Data Properties, the green triangle icon. At the top of the tab, left of the name object, click the drop down and choose Browse Mesh Data to be linked. Let's, let's go into this. Honestly, I don't know if this will work or not, but it's worth a shot. Um, okay, I'm gonna bring this over to the other uh, window. Select the object you'd like to replace. Object. Head over to Object Data Properties, the green triangle icon. <laughs> oh, this? No. Um. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. It's one of these. Oh, green triangle icon. Okay, now I see, now I see. Okay. Uh, at the top of the tab, left the name, click the drop down. Uh, choose browse data mesh to be linked. Hmm. <laughs> that works. Um. I want to replace this. I did something. <laughs> I did something and my computer does not like it. <laughs> Are we dropping frames? Oh no, we're still fine. <laughs> yeah, my computer, oh, it, it did not like that. Oh, geez. Okay, um, and the street. <laughs> okay. Okay, oh, ooh. 
I see, I see, I see. Okay, well, go back, please. <laughs> okay, um... I'm wondering if I need to bring in the other model. Um, oh gosh, where did I put it? Over here, over here, uh, over here, over here. Uh, hold on, I think it's. I think it needs to be imported. Um, there you are. Okay. You can go over here. Okay, now select that. Now, hopefully, whoa. <laughs> well, it kind of worked. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, No, I need to, okay, yeah, on the X, needs to be at 90, and then let's scale that puppy down, keep going, Oh. Wait. Hmm. Uh, I did not realize that this had separate parts to it. Um. Interesting. Uh. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's awkward. Um. Did not realize I needed that. Let's see if I could just copy it. <laughs> just to slide it on in. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Um... Oh, oh. That might work. I don't know. Um... See, the problem is, is that I don't need the bones and such, so I'm going to delete that. Okay, that's fine. Rotate along the X for 90. And scale, oh geez. And scale it down, scale it down. Scale it back up until we get to the point where it's about equal. Right there. Okay. Um, I don't know if this will work or not. I, in fact, I highly doubt it. Oh, it's doing something. It's doing something. Okay. Now let's see. We need. What? What is? What is that inside piece? I believe it's this. We need that, like... Somewhere. Actually, I need uh, I need this to act the same as this. Oh, hey, it's it's a little guy. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um. 
<sighs> okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go back. Do, 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 do. All right, gotta import. Wait, no. No, I don't. Open recent. There we go. This is what I want. Get rid of that. Okay. Um. What I'm curious about is how do we bring this into Unity? And I'm not quite sure. Um, and I don't think I will know unless I watch a lot of tutorials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop for now, but we still have about uh, 50 minutes until I'm going to end this stream. So what am I going to do, you ask? Well, uh, I think I'm going to play something. Um, just uh, just for you guys. I'm going to I'm going to edit the, the stream info um, once I figure out what I'm playing. But yeah, uh, so I am going to, uh, wow, that's loud. All right, so I'll be back in a bit.